Attorneys for the group Justice for Greenwood are getting their arguments ready for court Monday. They're pushing for a fix for what they call ongoing problems stemming from the 1921 Tulsa race massacre. Two News Oklahoma's Naomi Kitt was there as they met in solidarity this morning. Monday's court case will decide whether or not the lawsuit will be able to move forward. More than a dozen people met here at the Greenwood Cultural Center Thursday to voice their support. I'm hopeful. As long as my survivors are there saying let's do this, I feel like we have an opportunity. Demario Solomon Simmons, founder of the Justice for Greenwood Foundation, is gearing up to argue why he should be allowed to move forward with his lawsuit against the city of Tulsa. He, along with several other civil rights activists, stood in solidarity ahead of what they're calling a historic hearing. We are saying that the massacre created a public nuisance, and that public nuisance spawned additional nuisances that continue to this day. Solomon Simmons says the lawsuit is about improving the lives of North Tulsans. He wants the chance to prove what happened during the massacre and the nuisance. He says it continues to create and then show what can be done to fix it. There's a motion to dismiss the case, which is what they'll argue against Monday. We got to be honest about uh, the, the ramifications and the, the remedies moving forward in all levels, in the policy arena where I serve, as well as in the courtroom and, and, and in the judicial system. All of these arenas are important if we're to move forward and really make progress in the city. District 1 City Councilor Vanessa Hall Harper says this lawsuit means a lot to the community she represents. And the community can be heard as far as what happened in 1921 and ultimately resolve it with justice, with a decision that says a wrong was done and there are remedies to correct it, to abate it, to make right. Reporting in Tulsa, I'm Naomi Kitt, 2 News, Oklahoma.